Good morning, folks. How's it going? Oh, kind of a general, um, I feel like doing kind of a general um, talk here. Uh, I have several things. I don't know that I'll remember everything. Top on my mind that I want to do is I want to congratulate David Sequoia Flame. He's getting ready to put out uh, Jeffrey Scott Greer's, um, one of his records on vinyl. Congratulations, David. For some of you folks that may not know, David Sequoia Flame was the primary um, financier, uh, the person who offered me the largest amount of money to get Derek 3 and this whole thing I'm doing now going. I've also sat on the fact, I've known this. See, I can keep a secret, can I, David? I've known this all along that you were doing this. <laughs> and I've stayed quiet about it because I also understand that it's quite a process and there's a lot of work and it is expensive. And so I'm so glad that it's happening. I just stayed quiet, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, thing, business ventures like this easily fall apart before anything ever happens for a lot of reasons and money being one of them. So as, as skint as I am, you know that you can count on my, my support. Not only that, I like that particular record of Jeff's, I do. Making records is, is a tough, tough call. It's a, rom it's a, it's a, it's a romantic endeavor in many ways because it's an, it's an art endeavor. It's, it's, um, it's a baby of love. I mean, like man and woman, when a child is conceived out of love, that's what records are when done properly. And I know that's what you want to do, David, because that was partially when I, I do always talk about myself, folks, you know, because when um, Derek 3 first came out, it happened, I just mentioned on a whim. I wasn't serious. The video is still up. It's back last year. I don't know. But I had put out a CDR and it sold out in a day which blew my mind, you know, 25 copies, boom, they were gone. So I said, hmm, wow, well, what I'd really like to do is make a record. David emailed me, how much you need? And he was able to give me three, 75% of what I needed to go. <clears throat> I think everyone's figured out, not everyone, but yes, I've had some people know, they know it's you, Blake. Blake, you're the other one that, um, Helped me to get my feet on my feet with the uh, record. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm a record company. I have not LLC'd yet, but DBH Recordings is a record record company. I work for myself right now. God forbid things are tight. You know, God forbid I may have to go back to work next year. I really, like I said, there's several things I still need to do to try and and make more money. I haven't done it because I don't want to. But let me look into those things before I talk about going back to work. But it's tight, people. Okay. Make no mistake about it. There's a there's a there's a lot of um, reward in making records and seeing and hearing your music, you know, in a product. But it's tough. It's tight, folks. But I'm just letting you know, from one brother to another, David, that this, you know, have, starting your own record company is fantastic. DVH Recordings is my company. In Dreama, this record that's getting a lot of uh, talk and it's not even released yet on the street. Team Love is helping us spread the word, but I put it out. I made Dean Dreama. We've been going for two years trying to get either Saddle Creek or somebody to put the record out. And Team Love finally signed it, signed us, and I did <laughs> say, is it you or is it us? I need to know, Nick, is am I on Team Love or are you on Team Love? And I am on Team Love. You know, yeah, this first record is a soul that we've already got tunes for the next album. Okay. But, uh, David, you're going to find out. already. You already know. I see you got the test pressings. So you already know part of the work. This is hard work. Wait till the, wait till the record's coming and you start, you start filling those orders. I smile like this because, David, you're going to find out 
that I have been very gracious. It's tough. And people can really be shitty when they're um, on the receiving end of buying products. People expect the world. And some people are not nice. Thankfully, I've only had a few people be not nice. But I've had some. You're going to find out, buddy. Ultimately, is it worth it? Oh, God, yes. You know what I'm saying? God, yeah, it's worth it, David. Um, I also want to piggyback on this. The other, one of the other VC members who has endeavored to do his own thing creatively, which is Mark Ditch, Glass Orchid Aftermath, starting his uh, fanzine. Fucking fantastic, you know what I'm saying? That this endeavor of just getting on here to talk about records, number one, first, is leading to people's lives changing. Are you kidding me? Isn't that major? Isn't that wonderful? So, um, you have my support, David, and I, and just like I get on here and promote my shit, I'll be promoting yours too, my friend. Seriously. Uh, I love you and your family very, very much. Very much. You know, good, you're a good man. I love your laugh. And, um, you deserve the best, you know. We need to buy this record so that he can put diapers on Dawson's ass until <laughs> Dawson can put his own drawers on. And then, then we got to help David buy those. You know, <laughs> I'm just being silly, you know, you know, but it's amazing to me, you know, that you're able to do this, raising your, your son, having a family, you know, having a job. Cheers to you, David. I get up this morning and I got got a, another order in just one so far today. But thank you, folks. Thank you. You know, I, I you know, I, it's my nature to thank you. I maybe really don't need to thank you because you're just buying something because you want it. But um, I get a lot of orders from Australia, and I don't know these people. I know some people from Australia. You know, Big Star, Warren Ev, Dave. Here's one other, Chris. For, for, with Waikiki Records or the radio station, but I have um, filled several other orders to <clears throat> New Zealand and Australia. I don't know these people. Thank you, thank you. So yeah, someone else bought in Dreamer. Music-wise, what I want to share is not vinyl right away, but some records that I've been playing, some music I've been playing. I don't have the vinyl, but I want to talk about it. A new VC member yesterday showed his 10-inch singles. I really enjoyed the video. Quite a few of them were by Beth Orton and uh, Sonic Youth. The Beth Orton one reminded me of um, this, Strange Cargo, because one of the singles he showed was of the song She Cries Her Name, and that immediately remembered, reminded me of the song, because it's on here, too. Beth Orton does her song with Strange Cargo, William Orbit is Strange Cargo. He's a producer, electronic producer. He made some big money with Madonna, but his um, CV started before that. Torch song and some very good stuff. You know, she was trying to be hip getting with him, and she made a good album with him. She did, but this is really good. So I had that on yesterday. Um, another somewhat personally related to me um, CD that I put on the other day. And I wonder, and I'm, I'm asking about it because I'd like to know if any of my German um, friends or watchers know this band. As I've said before, I am a, and um, I'm a member. I still am a member of Sun Ambulance as an entity. It does exist. It's it's dormant right now. But I just met with 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 Joe twice um, now. And. Uh, I'm still a member. Our road manager in Europe, as well as the road manager for many Saddle Creek artists, as well as others, is uh, Oliver Ugly Organist. He, he's a huge cursive fan. But he's also a musician, and he's a, he has a punk ground background. When we were in Europe, he turned me onto a copy of a CD of his, because he said, you won't be able to find it. The Very Job Agency... Any, any other German folks or any European folks know this punk rock band? 
the very job agency. Let me tell you what year this is. This is uh, 2006, not that long ago. Go Kart Records. I love this. This is uh, Squonky German Punk. And uh, you folks that know know it know what I'm talking about. There is a German sound to punk. There are regional sounds, and um, I cannot explain how I know something has a German sound. I cannot, but boy, do I hear it. And this is really good. And the lead singer keyboardist right there, that's Ollie. Such a good friend. Um, that's how I like that about this. I see I'm not, I have to do business, but I'm a human. I met this man because he did his job as our road manager. That's all he was doing was doing his job. But he was such a wonderful human being that we've become friends. You know, that is much more important than just business. And this is really good. So does anyone else have any of their other records, anything related to the Very Job Agency? Really awesome. This is really good. I uh, showed yesterday that Dave gave me the uh, move singles, and I've played them a couple times because I wasn't going to do it on camera, but I, I, a tear. I, I, I did cry. This means a lot to me. Um, it's just a label, you know what I'm saying? But what it means uh, to me personally, it's it's uh, it's pretty it's pretty deep. Thank you so much, Dave. It means a lot. I'm just gonna not worry about the time right now. I want to just try to keep talking. There's other things on my mind. Um, I want to say this. Because it is it is my right to say whatever's on my mind. On Facebook, and this is this is just real quick about political, so you can turn it off now if you don't want to hear it. I'm gonna just say one thing because I haven't all this time. But I made a comment yesterday on Facebook. I'm not a Democrat or a Republican, I'm an independent. I see through the facade of, of politics. Politics is 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 dead. I mean it's better than the chaos in the streets that many of the uh, countries in the world are going through that we're holding on to this structure with this this um, beast of a monolith of politics that is useless because it's self-serving. I'm a pawn in the game. They use me and other people as pawns. They don't do anything for us. We may re we reap some benefits. Mostly, we get screwed. I am not a, an Obama supporter. He is just a politician. Okay. I want to tell you this about Mr. Mitt Romney, though, because he is just about the motherfucking devil. Okay. Because I was a good student in school, I was a straight-A student in a, a large part of uh, my school years. As a result, I won a, a scholarship to the local prep, all-boys prep high school, Creighton Prep, where the rich, and rich, privileged, and smart go. There's some others, Mount Michael, and there's probably another one even more exclusive, I think. But anyway... As a poor black kid, I was thrust out into a whole new world I knew nothing about. And that world sucks and it's cruel. And that is the world that Mr. Mitt Romney comes from, a world of class and privilege. It's really obvious to me that Mitt Romney is just a grown, spoiled, rich kid. I want to be president. And he can be. He can give a fuck about us, about anybody, about the middle class. Are you kidding me? Um, let me just rant for a minute because I'm watching people who are holding on to this false hope that the great white way will come back if they get the right person in. That's just dead. That's just never going to happen. The people that you are putting your trust in are the ones who have wrecked it and continue to wreck it 
and you want to look the other way and, and think that's not what's going on and hope they'll fix it for you, you fucking fools, okay? And I love you, but I got to say it like that because, because it's going on every day. People here in America running around on delusions and false hope and basing it on their what their little life was, you know. A lot of us have had shit for lives here in America. And people like Mitt Romney will make sure that they stay that way. President Obama has done what he can, but as you've seen, being a black person and also being a Democrat, this is a partisan system. The Republicans said, ain't no way we're going to get behind this motherfucking nigger. It's happening today. Watch the news. Watch. Read, the, read what happens in Congress. Read how it goes down. Be offended if you like that I use the word nigga, but that's what they're thinking about our president. That's that he's not the president. He's a nigga. Michelle Obama, she ain't no first lady. First ladies don't be wearing dresses with no arms. What the fuck? You fucking people are ridiculous. Let me go, okay? Because I'm speaking on the truth of my experience. Ain't nobody paying me to say this shit. The last thing I'll say about that and I'll move on is. I guess it's been a couple of years ago now when I was on tour with Kleeman and we were in New York and uh, I was downtown with my friend Gary at uh, a famous music shop there. It's big, famous, Worldwide Sam's or something. And we're just hanging out in front wait, waiting for a friend of Gary's and Gary says, there's Mitt Romney. I'm standing right next to him and Mitt Romney's on the phone on the street. I don't even know who the fuck the fucker is. Let's bring my love back. I don't even know who this man is. You know what I'm saying? And once I looked at him, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, I'm not a, I'm not a psychic. We all have these abilities. Some, some of us are aware of them. But, you know, I uh, get a lot of information from people right away when I meet you. He sucked. He didn't give a damn about us. He wants what he wants. Even though the country is in dire straits, you put that Republican son of a bitch back in office and watch, watch the Republicans bleed the bank even drier. Oh, American people. Oh, was there American people involved here? Mark my words. It's already happened many times. That's why I get angry is because how can people keep believing in false hope when what I'm telling you is what's happening, has happened, continues to happen with politics and power and the economy. I'm not making none of this up. I'm observing. That's why I get incensed. And I've held my tongue. This is the only thing I'm going to say. The election is almost here. I'll say no more about it on here. I may on Facebook. I'm going to stop, okay, I, because I don't have the time to watch long videos. I don't want to make you watch a long video.